that have been together as a cohesive unit. We are so excited to have this group opening tonight at Offset, or excuse me, at the Denver Center of the Performing <laughs> Joe's Theater, which is part of the Denver Improv Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Denver's very own Dishwater Floor! <laughs> Sometimes it'd be nice if, if another human being cared at all. You know, I mean, you know, the, the squirrels care because they may not get fed, you know, but nobody else really seems to care. Nobody else really seems to care about these fascinating creatures. But there is something amazing about boy, being born with your own armor. You know what I mean? I mean, these poor creatures that are protected and yet so soft on the inside. <laughs> you know, just like so many of us. <laughs> just like so many of us. I'm thrilled to be a thespian. <laughs> <laughs> I have a soft, gooey center, and I appear to be very hard and cruel on the outside, but I feel deeply, truly. Loving. About this art form, about my fellow thespians, and I hope that I can share my art with you. I hope that I can share my art with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my latest selection. It's an art bark. <laughs> and it's my 16th one that I've made this week. <laughs> All of these are for sale. Every one I've stacked up. My last series was pterodactyls. <laughs> and I've been laughed at. And I've been jeered at. But I'm going to make my art. Two rather than one. <laughs> Two rather 
rather than one. You know, I could build a second shelf and they could put more stuff on it. <laughs> that would be. I might do that. I might go over and offer to do that for free because that's the kind of worker I am. That's the kind of person I am. That's the kind of person I am. I'm one who fully commits to whatever they decide to do. I go at it with pure vision, with, with a directness that I... <laughs> I'm quite proud of myself about that. <laughs> I'm quite I'm proud, proud of myself because there's only one aardvark rescue in the entire <laughs> North American continent. <laughs> because there's actually a lot of aardvarks out there. They don't really need to be protected. But I, I feel as though an extra shell, an extra shell. You need another shell <laughs> on top of your shell. Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all, Lucinda? <laughs> Don't we all, Lucinda? I'll never sell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, Lucinda? Don't we all, Lucinda? <laughs> Don't we all, Lucinda? <laughs> I got the papers. 
<laughs> emancipated, legally emancipated. So you I can can't go on do my that. journeys. I birthed you from my loins. You can't know. Well, according to this paper, we've got no blood ties at all. That's a piece of paper. <laughs> this is flesh and blood. Stop pointing to that. Just <laughs> Pinatas for the 
fall fair. <laughs> <laughs>
too many priorities right now, <laughs> or too many jobs, <laughs> or a whole lot of money. <laughs> Robert, I don't, I'd like to know if you, do you only work in shells? <laughs> I specialize in. Do you build up the games? No, I don't know how. I <laughs> one right here, though. And that would probably take me six months. <laughs> Robert, I've got something in my head, something that I'm dying for you to create. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got plenty of our uh, our our uh, critters, all kinds of critters around here. You can pick and choose whichever one you want, as long as you're my hostage and you don't leave this room. <laughs> <laughs> you can take anything. Look, my family has lots of money. They will pay for you to release me. <laughs> you don't understand. I don't want to release you. You're my you're you're one of my critters now. <laughs> Robert lied to me. <laughs> He's a cruel man. He said if I came here, I'd find the peace that I was looking for. He said if I came here, I'd find the peace that I was looking for. So I went to the arts. I focused on them. I studied. I went to all of the places that you do study these things and found it quite rewarding. I went to all of the places where you do study these things. I found it quite rewarding. It's hard to find a school of zoology that focuses on shelled creatures. <laughs> All of them like to call it when you say shelled creatures. They go straight for the clams and the oysters. But no, I wanted something mammalian. <laughs> I wanted something mammalian. And now I've got it hostage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 